Guess who? Guess who? You miss me? You miss me? Break, break, break. I have no idea how it is I let this happen, dude, but I have now got five, five project cars, bro. What the fuck? Five project cars, four kids, and an expensive ass girlfriend, dude. I'm gonna need to get a second job for real. But today's video, I'm just gonna go over each and every single one of them and just talk briefly, briefly about the plans for each one and what's next for each one. So let's get into it. Yes, it is definitely still clean, dude, even though it's been raining like crazy, but you already know the Civic is a garage queen. While I have gotten some new parts for it, we are not quite ready for the next step that's gonna take in order to get the engine inside of the car, but we'll talk about that here in a minute because today's update is gonna be basically an update on every project that I have going on. <laughs> As for Mad Max, dude, if any of you guys really care, um, I did actually degrease the engine bay. I didn't do a great job, like I didn't do absolutely everything, but there was a lot of caked on stuff all around here, and this shit was real dirty and dingy, and I just basically cleaned it up a little bit. Because I was out here working on it, and I put new plugs, wires, and I actually did the valve cover gaskets on it as well. So, well, I did, I did the front valve cover gasket. This one here, because it was leaking like crazy. This one back here, it's not leaking quite yet, but I do need to change it. Um, <laughs> it's not leaking yet, and that one's a lot harder to get to, so I procrastinated on that. But check out my new engine mount. Oh, this is hilarious, man. I'm literally giving you guys fuel for freaking clowning on me right now. <laughs> Last time I took this car through emissions, the entire engine was rocking like crazy on the rollers, and honestly, it's kind of embarrassing, dude. Like popping the hood and seeing an 11R as a freaking engine mount isn't even more embarrassing, right? No. <laughs> I'm actually proud of that, dude. Shit. Hey, don't let me lose you, man. We're gonna be talking about the Civic here in a minute. Don't be taking off nowhere and don't be fast forwarding because I have some stuff to say. All right, some of you guys may know that I have been struggling to get Max through emissions, dude. Um, I got and ticketed on it, and I've already crossed my deadline, so um, I'm stuck with that 500 and something dollar ticket, unfortunately. But I'm also still stuck with the fact that I have to get tags on Max. The first time we went through, it failed horribly. Since then, I actually did plugs and wires, like I said. You guys know that we did an oil change on it recently. What else did I do? Oh, I ran a good fuel injector cleaner in it for the first cut last couple of weeks, you know what I mean? And then right before going, I made sure to drive the absolute hell out of the car to get the catalytic converter as hot as possible because uh, that's just supposedly supposed to help with emissions. The hotter the cat is, the more it kind of filters pollutants, po it filters pollution, whatever. Anyhow, I took Max through emissions for a second time and here's the footage for that. Yeah. 
same one I tried last time. Dude, he failed for a second time, so. Yep. What I'm gonna do next is try to put a new catalytic converter on there. Hopefully that's gonna solve it, dude. Other than that, I don't know what the hell is going on, man. It's uh, an O2 sensor and a catalytic converter. Those are things that are most common to cause you to fail emissions. Um, that's probably what I should have done first, but I was trying to do all the easy little stuff first. You guys aren't aware, catalytic converters are kind of expensive, dude, but I do have a car in the backyard that when I picked it up, the guy had mentioned to me that he had recently just put a brand new catalytic converter on there, so... Now before I show you guys this, I want you to understand that since a lot of you guys don't really like the B, uh, the BMW, I'm sure you're probably not going to like this car a single little bit. But it is what it is, bro. Before I get the comments saying, oh, you're spending money you could be putting on a Civic, I got this car literally for free. A co-worker of mine had it sitting out front and he just has no interest in it. And he's not really like a car guy, you know what I'm saying? So it's just basically like... A piece of trash sitting on four wheels to him so I went and took it off his hands bro <laughs> Race car? It is a five speed at least. She is. This is the gasoline engine, it's not the diesel, and it's also not one of the models that come with a turbo on it. It is a naturally aspirated 2.0. I think this is the coolest part about it, bro. <laughs> he said it looked like he, like to him, it looked like a dinosaur attacked it. So he put Jurassic Park on there. What's up? Yep, that's something that I have for the future, dude. Uh, I'm not going to be working on that probably anytime soon, man. That's just sitting back there because, like I said, I mean, I got the best possible deal on it as you could ever get. I mean, I got it for free. And what he had mentioned to me is that one day he parked it and it just wouldn't start the next morning. Other than that, it was running good and he had no problems with it. For all he knows, it's a dead battery, dude. So, is what it is. So my plan is to go out there and take the catalytic converter off of that car and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on max and see if hopefully that helps dude. Hopefully we can get it through emissions for the third time and actually pass this time so I can get tags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As for the BMW, I'm gonna talk about that after we talk about what's going on with the Civic. Dude, the update is kind of small for the Civic, dude. I just been, you know, getting little stuff here and there. These are the little gaskets that we need for the water neck that goes on the back of the engine. I got my valve cover gasket, which I was really excited about this. And it comes with these little pieces that go on the top of the valve cover. Like, I had no idea, bro. That's freaking badass. So they're gonna be all shiny and new. But other than that, the head is sitting here, all sexy. This thing is just beautiful to look at. I, I come out here in the garage and I can't help myself with a stop and just look at it. You gotta look at it. Another thing that is cr super freaking exciting for me, man. Like, I'm, I'm so blessed to have such awesome subscribers, such awesome people following me and being a part of the DB fam. This here comes from a guy named Josh. He sent me uh, an item out that I'm gonna show you right now, but his letter says, Bravest. I hope you can put this manifold to good use. Had it left over from a previous build and it's been collecting dust. Figured your build could use it. Uh, hope all is well in Arizona. Keep up the hard work. Signed, Josh. Dude, if you're watching this, Josh, thank you so much because this is gonna make a huge difference. Not only performance wise, in the way the engine bay looks, dude. This thing looks freaking sick as hell, bro. An Edelbrock Victor X Manifold. Thanks once again, brother. I know I, I talked to you already on Facebook, but I just, I wanted to put it out there and give you a shout out because I really do, I really do appreciate it, man. Little things like this help the build move along like tremendously. So 
The only thing I think I'm probably gonna end up doing to it is painting it black. I think it needs to go black. Other than that, dude, I also got that little freaking, that little O-ring that goes on the plug for the block. And, I got the dial set and the wheels so that we can get the cams degree. Yeah, a friend named Omar had this set up, dude, so he hooked me up, man. Said, just take care of them, don't break them, which I'm gonna try not to, of course. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, dude, I'm gonna take a crack at trying to obviously do the cams myself, but we're not ready to do that quite yet. And the only freaking thing, which you guys are probably gonna be upset about this, but the only thing stopping me right now from doing this, like degreeing the cams and everything, is just the fact that I don't have a timing belt tensioner. I don't have a timing belt tensioner pulley. I have my old one, but I need to get a new one. And <laughs> not only that, but I also have to get like some kind of pins, I guess, that go inside of here so that we can lock the VTEC lobe in so that whenever we degree the cams, we're actually, you, you have to degree them on the VTEC lobe because that's the one that actually, you know, pushes the, the valves down a lot further than the standard lobe. So you want to make sure whenever you're degreeing it that you're degreeing it on the VTEC lobe. So I'm really close to be able to do an update on the Civic, guys. So just hang in there with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to build this little stuff up on the side here and there, and um, we're getting close, dude. I gotta get that timing belt tensioner and figure out the pins, and then I also need, um, I'm wanting to get a different set of head studs to use for doing it because I'm gonna have to pull the head back off because I, I think I'm claying. Fuck, why would I have to pull the head back off? I don't know, dude. I don't think I'm gonna clay the engine. I don't think I really need to clay the engine. I don't think I, I don't, fuck, dude. I have no idea. See, clearly I'm not ready to do this quite yet, so I'm doing my research. I'm telling you, every time I get a chance, I'm in there and I'm Google searching and I'm finding different write-ups on forums, um, videos on YouTube, obviously. Um, the problem is, is a lot of them, they're not very well explained. Dude, and the ones that are, are on like Chevy LS engines and shit, dude. And I'm like, that doesn't help me even a little fucking bit. I gave you guys the update on the Civic before the BMW. I did that. Now I expect you guys to stick around while I tell you what's coming up for the BMW. So, don't be all disrespectful to the Beamer, bro, and be exiting right now. Because, yeah, that'd be rude. BMW, I am most certainly going to be putting these guys back in there really freaking soon because it's driving me nuts with the sun in my face. Ugh. My tail lights are still not working. These pieces of crap, like they're all broken and they're really freaking loose. Like this light, this is the reverse light. Like it doesn't work unless you kind of hold it like this because this shit's all busted up in there. Oh, I most certainly need a new set of tail lights, dude. That's what's gonna solve that problem. Um, as for the inside of the BMW, I put a rear view mirror back in it because this had fallen off, but this is all broken as shit. So, I have that side view mirror, but that side view mirror actually fell off. The glass part fell off, so it's no longer existent. I have also developed one hell of a rattle in this car, bro. I don't know if the camera's actually picking it up.
So yeah, the uh, the engine mounts are shot. So we definitely need to get some some hard mounted engine mounts. Um, I'm probably going to be getting those from Condor Speed Shop because I've been in contact with them and they're they're a really awesome shop, dude. They're a really cool company. So. And they have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff that I definitely need to get from them for the BMW. But you guys already know, you already know the Civic comes first. So whenever it comes to spending money, that is on hold. Um, if it comes to spending any money, it's getting spent on the Civic. The plans for the E36 is actually really, really simple, dude. Weight reduction, weight reduction. Weight reduction. Of course I plan on doing some conversions and stuff on the front to get a little bit more angle. Um, of course we need camber on the front. I need to be able to adjust the camera on the back. So um, those are all things that I have planned. So a little bit of suspension mods, weight reduction, and we're most certainly gonna paint the car and just try to get it cleaned up and looking a little bit nicer. But other than that, dude, that car's sole purpose is just for me to learn in. I want to get out to some local events here. They're actually coming up here really soon and just get some seat time, dude. I just wanna get some seat time, learn to drift in that car, and once I'm done, I'm probably gonna be either selling it or possibly doing a giveaway of some kind to where it could go to you guys. Real simple build, dude. That, that, that's, that's really, that's, that's about it. As for the sedan, I still have it, as you can see, but I'm not starting on this quite yet. I mean, there are, there is a lot of stuff that I can do to it to start cleaning it up. That, again, it's not gonna cost me any money. It's just all labor, you know what I'm saying? But, um, if you guys can't tell, it's even raining right freaking now. We keep fucking having rain, dude. It keeps raining and raining and raining. And, um, what I'm wanting to start with on this car is I'm wanting to get all the interior out and like completely detail it dude like but that's gonna require me to take all the seats out and the seats are gonna have to stay out for a little while like i can't just put them right back in the car because i gotta scrub the carpet and we're gonna be cleaning the seats and freshing them up trying to get them look looking as new as possible but in order to do that they're gonna have to be able to sit out in the sun and have time to dry but We've been having all these rainy ass days and windy days and that's that would not be a good mix with these guys sitting out in the sun. Well, that would not be a good mix with these guys sitting out and trying to dry, but just getting rained on and dirt blown on them. That would not work, bro. So um, as for right now, we're not gonna start on the sedan until the weather here in Arizona um, starts to show some freaking improvement, which is coming soon. I can tell you that right now because the days have been getting a little bit longer and they most certainly have been getting a lot hotter. I don't know if you, look at that. That's from work, bro, out in the freaking sun this last week. Been getting a lot harder. <laughs> so, up next for the Civic, the hatchback is. We're gonna be degreeing the cams, dude. I wanna be giving that a shot myself, and I wanna to get to a point to where I understand it well enough that I can make a detailed video of how to do it because there's not a single one on fucking YouTube right now. As for the BMW, the next step on that is gonna be stage two of the weight reduction. I'm wanting to start, I'm just gonna say I need to get the, uh, the cutting wheel and the grinder out. That's, that's all I'm gonna say for right now. As for Mad Max, um, I need to get his ass through emissions, bro. Other than that, I plan on doing a little bit of a bigger lift. Um, 
I was talking with Paul over at Sick Industries, and we might be working something out to where he's gonna make us a much better roof rack for that thing. And I just, I wanna make him more crazier, bro. I wanna make him like more aggressive looking uh, and everything else. And we also have a train horn to install in his ass still. For the Jurassic Park dune buggy I just showed you guys out back, that's gonna be like my next Mad Max build, bro. So I don't know how many of you are gonna be excited for that build. That's gonna be like further down the line, of course. But I plan on basically doing the same type of wheel and tire setup that we have on Max, doing a rack. Um, that is something I am gonna use those KC lights on because that will actually match and go well with the look of the of the Volkswagen because it has the round headlights and shit. Some kind of crazy paint scheme on it, you know, and whatever. So most certainly drop your comments down below. Let me know how much interest it is that I actually have for that car. Um, because I honestly, I feel like that's gonna be one of those things that nobody's gonna watch, bro. But it is what it is, dude, because I know I'm going to have fun doing it. And of course, the sedan, dude. The, the sedan, I'm just waiting for our weather to show some improvement so that we can start basically cleaning it up. The sedan's going to be like a restoration. Like, I'm wanting to get that thing to as minty, clean, and OEM as freaking possible. And then once we get it to that point, I might do some very little things. Like stance it a little bit on some wheels, uh, a nice set of coilovers, nothing major, you know what I mean? I also have a couple little projects that might take place over at Sick Industries if I can get Paul to um, figure something out with this thing, but we might be trying to custom make some kind of manifold to put this turbo setup on the BMW. And I'm also still in need of a freaking header for the Civic, dude, so. Um, for the hatch, we still I still need to get a header for it. Um, I do have my old header right here. Just maybe we might be able to save this thing. <laughs> this is from living that low life, bro. This is uh, a try Y that I had on the car previously when we had uh, the Type R engine in it. Um, as you can see, it has definitely seen better days. But I'm thinking that if we take this over to Paul, maybe we might be able to do some cutting um, and repositioning of the runners and actually turn this into a hood exit um, for the Civic, dude, because I, I think a hood exit would be sick as fuck. But yeah, that's pretty much an update on everything that I have going on and everything that we're gonna be having going on in the future. Um, as for the garage, I still haven't painted these damn spots. I still gotta do those, and I also still haven't painted all the trim color. As you see, we did the light color, but I haven't went back and touched up all the trim in the garage yet. Um, so, also still need to do the damn lights. <laughs> also still need to pay my damn tickets. Also, still need to get tags on Max and get a new car. Fuck everything, bro. Everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the update on everything. Please leave me some comments down below. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think about all this crazy ass builds. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you're new. Don't forget that stupid little bell down there. Don't forget to share the video if you think it's a banger. And make sure you always don't forget to slap your neighbor. I mean, I mean... Oh.